The other one was touched on by the senator from Rockingham. And I appreciated the overwhelming vote for the parole board transparency. I've presented that bill twice now in the Senate, and I realized I misspoke because both times I said, this will make the parole board like every other agency, board, every other council and body in, in Virginia where their votes are public. You know what they do. And we've passed it twice here, both times with a majority of Republicans and a majority of Democrats voting for it. And the mistake I made was saying that it would be like every other body because the House of Delegates doesn't record votes. They just put it in the chairman's pocket and that's it. Doesn't matter if a bill's been sent to them twice, they refuse to do it. And it's pretty upsetting that, that that's the way they act. I remember reading these great comments uh, from so many of those members in the previous years about how important it was that votes in the House of Delegates be made public and it was terrible that bills get killed without recorded votes. Um, it's great some of the people that made those comments now you know, have pockets full of bills where there's no recorded vote to defeat it. Can't say you're unhappy with someone that voted to defeat it because there's no vote at all. And it was on the parole board that we heard all these problems about. In the time between when we passed the bill and when it got over there, the parole board said it would take two employees to record their votes. We need to send folks from our clerk's office to explain to them it's not as hard to record the votes, that you need those two positions. I appreciate the Senate's time. Thank you.